Okay, so the lad's name is Jack Doherty and he fucking loves internet drama. Ever since he started streaming on Twitch, this man has just been like dick riding drama. I, I don't know what's wrong with him. He just fucking loves it. Not too long ago, he was beefing with FouseyTube. FouseyTube went into his house, spat on his floor, was incredibly disrespectful i honestly don't know why jack dealt with that i i would have just smacked the fuck out of fuzzy tube it doesn't matter if he's bigger than me i, I just fucking hit him anyway uh, i guess he just didn't want to get himself in even more trouble so in fairness he dealt with that well he was uh calm and collected about that anyway yeah so we had that beat of fuzzy tube and now he's just got himself into even more trouble with corinna kopf who is if you don't know now on only fans yeah huge respect to her Anyway, Jack Doherty, he says it in the nicest way possible. He calls her an OnlyFans whore, which I think, fair point there, fair point made. She is she is literally that. That is exactly what her job is. She posts herself naked on the internet for men. That, that is literally what a whore is. It's, anyway, yeah, he basically just states a fact. And um, these boys, I don't know their names. I literally cannot find their names anywhere. But they're wearing like get physical that's like what they're wearing anyway yeah so they start trying to press jack i don't know why it's just so cringe they i guess they just love corinna kopf they're probably her number one subscribers and that's why they're there she probably does like special events with her subscribers and they can follow her on chains or something anyway yeah so they turn up to jack doherty's house and they just start pressing him i'm going to play the clip now it's quite a long clip so i'm just going to cut it down to the important parts uh yeah let's let's just show the clip for what did i say for the cop what did i say i don't know she said she said she said you was talking shit. how uh, everyone i don't know i'm live stream she, i don't know did you say so go look at my live stream i don't know but baby i don't got your live stream Hold yeah up. i'm sorry you'll never know Hey, that's what I heard. You called her an OnlyFans whore. Damn. And then I said, I was like, wait, we got a lot of OnlyFans. That's what I heard. Like, that's what I heard. But like, they're so but, good. Like, I, yeah, I understand. I know it's but you can't, you can't fucking talk that shit. Well, she's making racks. She making uh, racks. Obviously. Yeah, racks. Okay. You say that no, I'm no, just no, an OnlyFans no. whore. That's not what it was. That's, that's literally that's what it was. Okay. So yeah, as you see the clip there, they're like, oh yeah, so like, apparently you've been like chatting shit and stuff. And like, they're trying to be all hard. They're stood there like that. And they're like, oh, but yeah. Blah, blah. And it's just like. I don't know why Jack has learned to deal with things like this so well. I mean, he had Fuzzy Tube kind of spit in his face, so that's fair enough. But yeah, he's he's very calm here. He's just like, what the fuck do you want me to do? I said it. What do you want me to do? Like, I'm not going to go and apologize because I meant it. So it's like, what do you want me to do about it? And they get kind of upset about it. And they start, uh, it's really fucking weird. One of them starts grabbing his own crotch whilst he's talking to Jack. Weird shit. These guys are fucking weirdos. Anyway, Jack's security guard then decides that it's time to step in and look after his son. And he knocks the daylights out of one of these guys. I mean, Jack's security is fucking massive. This man looks to be six foot nine, 300 pounds, uh, 800 pounds of that being muscle and a serious punch. Because, I mean, the punch was terrible form, but... The way that it landed, it almost looked like he just pushed through this guy. So I'm going to play the clip of him getting knocked out now because it's quite beautiful to see. You're all safe. Who are you yeah. talking to, dog? I'm just saying y'all say Yo, you're just walk. Then walk. Oh! Who the fuck you talking to? What's up? So, as you just saw there, a somewhat beautiful punch from the security guard. He did knock the guy out, but I think that is kind of just due to his massive size and weight. The punch had no technique behind it and he just landed and kind of just followed through with it. It wasn't really anything special. So I don't really want to give props to the security guard there. It wasn't like this heroic punch either where the guy was about to attack someone. He could have literally pushed him and had the same effect but for some reason he just decided to punch him and get himself a beautiful prison sentence it will probably be abh and he'll get about two years for this because this just this just isn't like a, a basic assault he's literally almost knocked the guy unconscious which can be seriously damaging uh after that you do see like all the girls kind of like what the fuck is wrong with you and like don't get me wrong the guys were kind of asking for it but the reaction was a bit extensive like, don't get me wrong, when someone is getting up in your face, it's extremely annoying. But the the last thing you should ever do is hit someone. Because it, at the end of the day, you get that second of satisfaction when you see them drop to the floor. But as soon as they drop to the floor, you've now got two worries. 
one, whether they're going to press charges and call the police, and two, whether they're going to wake the fuck up. Because if this guy had actual technique behind his punch, this guy might have not woken up. If he'd hit him in the temple, this guy would have died on that floor. I mean, look at the guy's fucking weight. He is huge. So Jack Doherty, he's just going to get himself in a shit ton of trouble once again. Apart from this time, it's going to be a lot worse because the law is actually going to get involved with it. The guy is apparently pressing charges. I still don't know the guy's name. I don't care to know his name. He seems like a piece of shit anyway. So maybe he had that coming for him. Overall, Jack Doherty, it's not looking good for you, man. You're, you're looking like you're in the pits of it right now. You're going to need a seriously good lawyer for your bodyguard. And you're going to need to present some next level evidence that these guys posed some sort of threat to you. They didn't really seem like they were the threatening kind. They were literally wearing bikinis by the looks of it. Uh, they did not look like they were going to be uh, packing a punch, I suppose you could say. I think Karina Kopp was more of a threat because she could have just posted something mean about you on Twitter. Um, but yeah, overall, I don't know why Jack keeps on getting himself in this internet drama. Don't get me wrong, it gets his name out there, he gets views, his name is trending on Twitter for a couple of weeks, and then dies down again, and then he does the same thing. So I don't know how long it's going to be until Jack really gets himself cancelled. Overall, I think he's on the right path to doing so. Maybe he'll be just like FuzzyTube in about five years' time. But uh, yeah, just want to say a little bit about that because this guy is not looking good right now. And I think we should really stop kind of supporting this behavior. By going into the comment section on Twitter saying, yeah, your bodyguard knocked that guy the fuck out. You're only supporting it. Stop, please. You're going to get this kid in a lot of trouble just because he loves the views. But yeah, that's about it. See you.